You rolling? Rolling. Okay, Mike here at Quadricopter, hanging out with Adele. We're going to fire up our M210 version 2. We're going to activate it and show you guys how to update it as well. Okay. 210 comes with the ultra bright crystal sky. So once you get fired up, you're going to want to make sure you're connected to the internet, showing your Wi-Fi lit up here in blue. So we've got a connection. Controller on. And then get yourself into the Pilot app. The version 2 no longer works in Go 4 Pilot app only. Okay, top left corner, checking version. Oh, we're going to activate first. Pretty straightforward here. Agree to the terms. Name your drone. We're going to run mode two. It's hard to see the white. I bet. Yeah. Okay, we're going to activate and done. So you can see up top here, we've now got the one click update. So we have updates for the aircraft and for the remote control. No camera payload attached right now. So we're going to get into there and we're going to start upgrading. That's a new feature of the uh, version two, the yep. one tap update. Yep. If we had a camera payload on there, we'd be able to update that through here as well. So things are definitely getting easier. In the past, you would use the Assistant 2 app on your computer. You still could use Assistant 2 if you wanted, um, just a matter of preference. Okay, so we're breezing through the remote controller firmware now, downloading. We're also going to update the batteries. If there's any updates for the batteries, um, we're going to walk through that. This might take a while to update here. Um, do we want to talk about features? or? Sure, we could. Um, just to touch on what you were saying, the battery should get updated during this aircraft update now. So to keep all your batteries updated, go through this process, pop your batteries out, next set in, and run through the update again. Um, if you prefer, again, you could plug this into Assistant 2 and get it updating that way. Um, yeah, let's take a walk around the 210, just kind of talk about that while this is going through its update. Virtually the same looking drone. Biggest features we've got here are our, is the beacon on top and a beacon on the bottom. So for guys doing night ops or even just trying to see it during the day, you've now got a nice bright strobe that you're going to be able to see from a, a while away. Um, Looks like they've kind of put new covers on the LEDs all around. Nothing too major there. A um, couple of little different pieces of hardware hanging around, but virtually an identical drone. Um, some different camera mount action. Oh, for sure. So you can do, it's not going to come with the top mount anymore like the old 210 did. So you have to get it separately. Same with the GPS mass. Um, you can run a top mount and a bottom mount at the same time if you had the need. Um, not sure exactly why you'd want to do that, maybe under a bridge inspection to have something looking up and down. Um, so you can run that setup if you wanted. Uh, it supports the X7 now, which is awesome. So you've got a super high resolution um, inspection camera if you wanted it. Um, the batteries, you're no longer able to use a TB50 on the version 2s. Right. So only a TB55s now. Um, it does have a mode, too, where you could turn all your LEDs off around. They call it discrete mode. Um, I'm sure some public safety guys will like that, to be able to be up in the air and, and kind of undetectable is a nice thing. Comes with uh, Enterprise Shield now. Right, right. So DJI will replace this up to two times in the first 12 months um, for a fixed fee. Uh, the rates are different throughout each, each aircraft. And uh, we'll post a link to our blog that kind of walks you through how to get that done as well. Also, with the Enterprise Shield, uh, you have to activate or uh, apply the shield within 48 hours of the activation of the aircraft. So that's something to keep in mind. And of course, for our customers, like we're doing here today, we'll unbox it for you. We'll activate it, update it. If you have, we'll get your shield activated as well and make it ready to fly for you. 
the reason we're doing this video is because um, people have a hard time keeping their aircraft updated and we're just showing you how easy it is and how important it is. And of course you could always give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll, we'll take care of it for you and walk you through it step by step. This is going to take a while here. Um, anything else on... Um, we've got we've got the Sendence S now, so it's the second generation of the Sendence controller. Again, pretty much virtually identical, uh, but supports the OcuSync 2.0 image transmission. Um, it's now available to buy it um, as a camera op controller as well. Um, Ground Station Pro is now supported with the version 2 as well, so all the software you're used to using will work. Uh, some of the third-party apps like uh, Drone Deploy, Pix4D, they're getting there. It's going to take some time for them to uh, to tap into the version 2. Yeah, so if you have any questions or um, want to quote on any of the systems you're seeing here, just drop us a line, sales at quadricopter.com. Yeah, once this firmware update is going, we're only at 4% now, it'll take some time. Uh, you'll get a, a success uh, status when you're done, you can finish it off there. Um, and again, if you're ever doubting the firmware version, make sure you're connected to the internet in the pilot app and wait for this status check in the top corner to go through everything and check. Um, if you just run out in the field and you're not connected and you're just going to fly, it's not going to know there's a new update. You've got to have connectivity to, to keep up with it. So it's always a good idea to check it out before you go out and fly. Sounds good. This is Adele and Mike and you're looking at the DJI Matrix 210 version 2.